I have started also the recording. Okay, this is our password. Okay. Okay, so you are you connect to your virtual machine. Yes. Okay. So now I will, I will go to my machine, this one. This is the machine I'm going to run to connect the DICP on it. All right, so now we are going to add the first, the first step, we are going to configure the IP address of my virtual, my server. So I will go to the local server, click on local server here, okay. You see your Ethernet card, Ethernet, Ethernet, click on this. We need to configure the IP address on the network card. Now I get this Ethernet card. I right click on it and then I will choose properties. Okay. Now I'm going to configure it. So I will go to TCP IP version 4. Click OK. Uh, properties, I mean, properties. Use the following IP address, 10, according to the lab manual, 10.0.x. X is the last two digits of your IP, of your ID number, okay? X, last two digits, X, X. Yeah, like let's say if it's, yeah, the last two digits of your ID, your college ID. So for me, I assume that the last two digits is zero. No, yeah. Okay. So let's do it again. Okay. We'll do it from the beginning. Okay. First step is to configure my IP address, the network card IP address. All right. So we'll go to the server manager. Server manager, if it disappeared, we need just to click on it. Now my server manager will open. Before we add the SCP, we need to configure the IP address. So we go to local server. Okay. Your Ethernet network card, click on it. Here's the Ethernet card, I right click on it. And then choose properties. I choose TCP IP version 4, properties again. And then use the following IP address. 
which is written in the lab manual. By the way, these steps are written for you also in the lab manual. If you read it there, in lab three, you will find it. The same steps. Ten. Ten dot zero. Dot zero one. For me, zero one because I assume the last two digits is zero. And then here it should be one. Subnet mask according to the lab manual is 255.255.255.0. Okay. Default gateway is the same your machine IP address. Please don't make a mistake here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, the same IP address. 01.1. .1. Yeah, the same IP address. Okay. The gateway is the same IP address of your machine, and the DNS is the same IP address of your machine. Okay. As simple as that. Gateway yeah. and the same Please, let's talk English. The DNS and the gateway is the same IP address of your server. Okay, so for me it is 10.0.1.1. For you, it will be something else. The DNS is the same IP address, the same gateway of my machine, which is, because I am using only one machine, 10.0.1.1. Okay? Then I will say, okay. Now I have configured my IP address. I have recorded this part. You can go to it anytime you want. Now here, just say no. Yes. 255.255.255.0. Yes, what's your question? The DNS server. Same. The DNS, the gateway is the same IP address of your server. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now we will start our installation. So I will go to manage again, add roles and features. Next. Next. Okay, I'll start again. Manage. Add rules, rules and features. This is what we studied in the theory. Next. Don't change anything here. Just default. Then here you choose DHCP. Select DHCP again. Select DHCP. Once you click on it, it will open automatically another one. Just say add feature, don't tick anything here, leave it as default. Continue. Again, we'll start again one more time. Okay. Manage, add roles and features. Okay, at the back, Maana. Next. Next. Next, choose the ICP. No one has said it, so it automatically changes. Once you click on it, it will change. Okay. Click OK, add feature. Continue. Now choose next. Don't change anything. Next. Next. Here, click on reset if needed. Yes. Okay, now the step, the important step is install. We'll take a short time to install. Add feature. Yeah, we'll look at your uh, case after we finish this. Try to install it again, please. All right. Yeah. Yeah, just install. Click on install. When you get that message, you are done. Just click on install.
Did it work? Start. Did it work? Okay, go back to the virtual machine. And if it crashed, go and see. Okay, now I am done, so I'll click close. So now my DHCP is added. Let me just close this. Start it again. Server manager. Now it should show the SCP here. Let's wait. Yeah, this is my DSCP. See, it is there. Now I will go to tools, choose DHCP. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I will wait for you. I will wait. Let me know, please, when it finishes your. You want to bring your machine? Is it still crashed? Okay. okay, we are waiting now. I will wait for everyone. No problem. I will wait. Just wait. I am waiting for everyone to finish. Now we go back to the virtual machine and continue the configuration of DHCP. Click on tools. Click on tools. Okay. You will just see here, log DSCP. You will see DSCP on the dashboard. Yeah, let's say close it. Okay, now we click on tools, choose DSCP. All right. Now go here. This is DHCP. Click on DHCP IP version 4. And then you see add scope. So right click here somewhere. Here right click. New scope. And I will name it scope and the last two digits of your ID. Scope 01. Okay. You can put a description lab. 
lab 3 for instance. DHCP, but then click on the DHCP version 4. It is recorded. You can watch it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. So, again, tools, DHCP. Okay. Now I will come here, click on my server. I'll choose IP version 4. Right click or, or here. So IP version 4. Right click and choose a new scope. We will name the scope. Scope. The last two digits, 0, 1. And this is lab 3. Okay. Are you okay now? Yeah. And name it scope 01 or zero, well, the last two digits of your IP. Okay, now next. The starting IP address, if you look in the lab manual, by the way, you can follow the steps, Shabab. You can follow it in the. Yeah. 10.0.x, which is the last two digits of your ID. And then dot one, the end is dot hundred. Yeah, and ten dot zero dot zero one dot hundred. Length subnet mask. Also, we need to change it to two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. It will change automatic once you do do this and do next. It will change to twenty four. See here. We'll enter. Yeah, yeah, one hundred. Change it to twenty four. What's your name? Uh, now I remember. You can advise you, Andy, sir. Now I remember you. How is everything? Okay. Sorry. I... All right. We'll continue, inshallah. Next. Now you want to add exclusion. We are going to exclude exclude the first 10 IP addresses. So we are going to exclude from 10.0.01.1 into 10.0.01.1.10. Only 10 IP addresses we will exclude. These are the addresses that we will not give to anyone. We need them. These are, we will give to our important devices, our servers, our printers. Okay. And then click add or next, it's the same. Here it says the lease duration. The default is eight days, so leave it eight days. No. Don't change anything, only one to ten. Yeah, X is, you need to put yours, 10.0.x. Because you are not looking at the lab manual, it says 10.0.x.1 into 10.0.x.10. Last two digits of your ID. Okay. All right. Next. Leave it eight days. Default. Okay. Next. Now it says, do you want to configure other options in gateway with DNS? You just say yes. Okay. Next. 
Now I will get, I will put my default gateway. My default gateway is the same of my device IP address, which is 10.0.x.1. .0.x.1. Add. Click on add. Because you have only one machine. Okay, next. Now your DNS. It's already given to you here. You see it? So you don't do anything. Just say next. Don't change anything here. Next. Yes, I want to activate this scope. Yes, don't change it. And just say next. Finish. No, no, don't, don't. The same. I told you, just say next. Don't change it. La, la, la. No need. Okay. Are you done? Are you done, everyone? Very good. Are you done? Now, please go to the BB Learn. And don't close your machine, please. Don't close it. <laughs> 